In this video, we'll be discussing how to clean an analytical glassware. When performing experiments, the use of clean, contaminant-free apparatus is an essential part of obtaining accurate results. This is especially true when performing analytical investigations such as titration. Titrations require three main pieces of apparatus, namely the burette, pipette, and the conical flask. The narrow shape of both the burette and the pipette means that cleaning them is not as straightforward as cleaning apparatus such as beakers or conical flasks, for example. Furthermore, both the burette and the pipette are volumetric pieces of glassware. Here is the correct method for cleaning the glassware that you'll be expected to utilize during your practicals. Method for cleaning the burette. The 50 ml burette that is found in your locker is cleaned by adding approximately 20 ml of cleaning solution or detergent that is found in your bench while making sure that the burette's tap is closed. The burette is then filled with tap water and then the burette tap is opened to allow some of the solution to run into the tip. The burette is then rinsed thoroughly five to six times with tap water, making sure the burette tap is open. The burette is considered clean when no water droplet sticks to the inner surface of the burette. At this point, the burette will be rinsed two to three times with approximately 10 ml of distilled water from a wash bottle, as the tap water was used in washing of the burette. Please check that your tap is loose enough to turn, but tight enough to prevent any leakages. This is done by either tightening or loosening the tap. However, if there are any problems with your burette, ask your demonstrator for assistance. Method for cleaning the pipette. The pipette is first fitted with the pro pipette or pipette filler. This is done by loosening the white end of the pro pipette and inserting the pipette into the pro pipette to about two centimeters by using gently twisting motion and the white end is tightened. Approximately 10 ml of cleaning solution is added into a beaker where the solution is diluted with water. The pipette is then cleaned by sucking up the diluted cleaning solution approximately two to three centimeters above the graduation line by rolling the knob downwards, making sure the pipette is in a vertical position. The cleaning solution is then run out of the pipette into the sink. This procedure is repeated two more times. At this point, the pro pipette is removed by loosening the white end that was tightened earlier and the pipette is removed by using the twisting motion. The pipette is then inverted and the tip is held under a gentle running tap. This process is done for about a minute and the pipette is considered clean when the water droplets do not stick to the inner surface of the pipette. At this point, the pipette is rinsed with distilled water from the washing bottle to remove any remaining tap water. If the cleaning solution is sucked up into the pro pipette, the pro pipette should be removed and dried using paper towel before the pro pipette is reused. From this video, you should now know the best way to clean volumetric glassware by following the steps described. Remember that all your glassware should be as clean as possible in order to avoid errors caused by contamination. If you need any help in the lab, ask your demonstrator for assistance.